KC Boxing Channel. You know I got to say something about last night PB PBC lineup. They had a hell of a lineup. Let me crank it up so you can hear me. That's what I'm talking about. They had a hell of a lineup last night. They had 10 fights on Fox Sports 1. Now, that's just more to come because the new lineup will start in December and there's more to come but it's one I would like to speak of now he remind me of someone that you know that's a heavyweight champion of the WBC I mean of the WBC and that's Deontay Wilder. He's from Nigeria. He fights out of Texas. And he also is under the tutelage of Ronnie Shields. The same one that produced the Charlo brothers. Now Texas is doing big things in Houston, Dallas. I mean, they doing their thing. Charlo brothers, Brant, um, Pro Gray. Earl Spence and now this young heavyweight built like Deontay Wilder same height as Deontay Wilder but he has more boxing skills than Deontay Wilder and don't get me wrong Deontay Wilder is my boy no, no damn doubt about it but this this Nigerian because it's really hard to spell, um, pronounce the name, Ajer Ajaba. He has jab. We know Deontay had a telephone pole jab. We know that. But he has very basic techniques that Deontay Wilder don't have. See, Deontay Wilder never had a chance to get that amateur pedigree like most boxers come from. Actually, Deontay Wilder is learning on the job and learning very well, my, I might add. You know, so, I mean, I heard Dylan White say one time, that, oh, Deontay Wilder got brittle hands. If you hit somebody and make them go to sleep, your hands be brittle too. Matter of fact, you probably break your hand, which he probably have on several occasions. I, I wouldn't doubt it. But if you put 39 people down, what you think they just volunteer to lay down? No. But this guy here, he's no joke. I'm gonna tell you. Now, he's six and O. Oh. After last night, he's seven and O. Oh. Now, if you all recall, just a little few weeks ago, he was getting ready to fight. Then his opponent looked at him, turned around, and got out the ring and walked to the dressing room. Now, KQKC doesn't lie. I'm not going to stress the truth like that young man did. Talking about Eddie Hearns is 50 50 fight for Deontay Wilder. No, Eddie Hearns would never say that. So, you go to the Boston Boys, you hear what Eddie Hearn said. Eddie Hearn said that, hey, if Deontay Wilder make a good showing and beat Tyson Fury and do one million pay-per-view buys, there you go. Then his stock goes up. So, 
it could be a 50-50 fight. He didn't say it's a 50-50 fight. No, it's not. You know, you know, Aiden Hearns not going to give in that easily. Trust me. And I don't even like Aiden Hearns. Aiden Hearn, I might add. But getting back to this young man. This young man had skills that I never seen before. I watched it last night. And, um, of course, Omar Figueroa brought him fault. Brandon Figueroa. And he's no joke either. I mean, we got some young guns coming up in boxing. And Floyd Mayweather want to come back and fight? No, he want to come back and make an ass out of everybody and take their money. And Floyd is my... I grew up on Floyd Mayweather. He's my favorite fighter. I know everything about him and his family and where he come from. But I'm not going to let him cheat the public, the Boston public especially. I mean, sure, Manny had problems with taxes. And you're not broke. Of course he's not. We know that. I mean, I mean first of all, you're on the toolage of Al Heyman. Uh, the most smart businessman in the world. I hope you invest your money well. If not, you just be one of the old fighters that talked about how it used to be. Wake up, brother. Hey, everybody, man, y'all got to check this brother out. He's new. He's fresh. He's tall. He's a heavyweight. He can box. And he can knock you out. Just last night, the first round knockout he had. That right hit that brother so hard. And he went down. Big knot on his head. And blood splattered on his chest. Now, if that's not power, you tell me. Now. Only thing that Deontay Wilder probably can do with him is that his overhand right might be a little stronger because he's young. He's tall. He's big. But he's young. So, but can Deontay Wilder take his punch? I know he probably can't take Deontay Wilder's because he's young. Like I said, he's a young man. But he's a big young man. So people, please tune in to this brother. And of course, you know he's under, you know who, PBC, Al Heyman. So, that's one part of this video I want to talk about. The other part I want to talk about is December the 1st. And we know what happens on December the 1st at the Staples Center. And Deontay Wilder versus Tyson Fury. Now, I would love to hear the comments of what you think the game plan should be for Deontay Wilder. Because I know Tyson Fury is not going to take a fight this soon and it's coming back this soon, you know, with the heavyweight champion of the world. I don't think he would do that unless... He has a game plan. Now, what his game plan might be, mm, I can take a couple stabs at it. First of all, he's going to move. Just like he did with Klitschko. But, maybe at a slower pace. So, you tell me. How would he play this? Work the jab. Deontay Wilder, he has not jab. What I think he should do is move to his left and use his angles. So De Deontay Wilder, he's not, he's a big guy. Well, both of them are big guys, but Tyson Fury moves lighter on his feet than Deontay Wilder. 
and he showed a little bit when he fought Arthur Spickle, but that wasn't very technical. Let me put it that way. Now, the uh, Tyson Fury moved to his left, work on his jab, and go to the body. Because when Deontay Wilder covers up, you know, when uh, when he fought Ortiz, for instance, you know, when somebody's busy, Deontay Wilder, he's one of those fighters that freezes. He's not going to go into a slugfest. He's going to go into that high guard. The one like Leo Santa Cruz uses. You know, he go in that high guard. Which will leave, what, the elbows and on down open. Then, keep working the body, bring them hands down. Then you go to the head. See, Deontay Wilder is 6'7". Tyson Fury is close to 6'9". So he got a little bit of height on Deontay Wilder. So he can go to the head. But don't do no head honey. Because all you're going to get is a glove. So, that's my game plan. That's what I think you should do. Move to his left. Work the jab because everything we know works off the jab. You know, if you just use it as a range finder, stick it out there. That keep him off your ass. And we know Tyson Fury can move for a big man. So that's all he had to do. Move, do his thing, and keep going round after round, breaking him down. So it's not going to be a knockout. Not in the first round, not, not with Deontay Wilder. I can't see that, not the first round, no. But he will have to break him down. And the only way he's going to do that with Deontay Wilder is that he can take a punch. Go to the body. i never seen Deontay Wilder take a lot of body punches. And that's very unusual because he's 6'7". You know, a lot of people try to go to the body, but... It really doesn't happen, you know. And it's just so funny how I watched the PBC last night. Dominic Brazil is still bitter. You know, move on, brother. You know, I know you are the WBC mandatory to Deontay Wilder or to whoever the winner might be. We know that, okay? But you need to stay busy. You need to fight someone else because unification fights Trump mandatories. We all know that. Well, diehard boss fans know that. So stop being so bitter, okay? The announcer told him, Well, you next in line, your turn. Well, yeah, it's personal with me. And this, uh, look, look, just, just chill out, okay? Just take a chill pill. This is boxing, you know. Deontay Wilder, that's his, that's his, you know, he sell fights. He sell himself. He raised his profile up. And damn, he did a heck of a job. And with help from others, like myself and the LDBC especially, they really helped raise his profile at least 30%, I can say. But that's what I want to talk about. We got a young gun coming up in the heavyweight division. And I know he will meet <laughs> Anthony Joshua. And but I can't see Eddie Heron taking that risk. He's gonna run like he's running from Deontay Wilder. He's gonna set the bar so high financially wise or so low financially wise that he might get a surprise. He's young, and some money is better than no money to a young person. So you never know. Now, Deontay Wilder, that's a different story. We're talking about a man that's 40 and old with 39 KOs. You don't get him peanuts. Hello. So, there you go. And that's my game plan for Deontay Wilder and Tyson Fury. Now, yeah. I know y'all wondering what should Deontay Wilder do? What he always do. 
don't change nothing. Work that jab. If you see him hurt, go ahead and do your thing. Rush in, but not so wide. Do not throw wide punches. Tyson Fury is a big boy. You might have to do some body shots. Mix it up. You might want to do work off the jab, then go to the body for a couple rounds, then mix it up a couple rounds So you break them down. It might not be a knockout. I'm just going to give y'all a heads up on this. It won't be a knockout because this is a big boy now. This is a guy that was the heavyweight champion, the undisputed heavyweight champion. So, don't get it twisted. He ain't gonna fall that easy. And Wilder knows that. So, with that, that's all I got for you. This is KQ, KC, Boxing. If you like where I'm coming from with this new channel, I really need your subscription. And also, when you subscribe to me, hit the icon bell. So you can get notified each and every time I upload a video. Just like this one. And don't forget to hit that like button. You can hit it on the way in or you hit it on the way out. But keep this in mind. I'm not new to this. But I'm true to this. Peace and love.